Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video. Now in today's video, I want to talk about how to prepare the best resume to get a job in IT. Yes, everybody wants to have a job and in order to get a job, you have to apply for it. And when you apply for that, resume is one good thing that you always submit. So in this video, I'll not only talk about it, I'll show you what the best resume looks like. And for sure, I hope many of you can just uh, mold your resume according to that and can proceed and can have a successful job there. So let's get started here. In this channel, we talk about programming, web apps, mobile apps, and pretty much everything related to technology. So in case you are new here, consider subscribing. Now, one of the main job that I do at this channel, apart from teaching you programming and creating web apps and mobile apps, is to guide you how you can uh, be professional in IT and can get job and everything related to that. And one of the doubt with the beginners is how we can create those good resumes. Now, I have got two resumes with me and I'll show you what is good and what is not so good. I won't call it bad, but it's not so good, okay? Now, when you apply for a job as a programmer, now don't think like a programmer. Think like who is the person trying to hire. Now, the one person who is trying to hire you needs a programmer, okay? I hope you, you are very clear with that. If that person is not looking for a programmer, probably the job is not for a programmer. The job might be for a 10th uh, grade student uh, who can just pick up some calls, can answer the people about why your PC is not working or maybe some support job, so okay? I hope you understand that if a job is there for programmer, the person sitting behind the wall needs to understand that we are hiring a programmer. And don't worry, there are enough people who are pretty much aware that we are hiring programmer. So let's look at the resumes here. You might look at the screen there. I have to look at it in my phone. So this is the first resume that we have got here, okay? So at the top, we have got name, that's good. We always require your name. And then got a few address, telephone number, email. That's nice, contact information is always good, okay? And then a big objective, aspiring to take up challenging blah blah, and, and pretty much you know that, nobody is going to read that, and that is why you haven't spent much of the time there. You might have already copied it from your friend's resume and that template is going around in the entire college. I hope I'm right. And then there is a big box of education. You might have seen that quite a lot of time, where your 10th certification, your 12th certification marks, and your college first sem, second sem, third sem, and all these things goes on. But do you really think anybody cares about that? And pretty much honestly, nobody actually looks at that. And then there are some key skills. Now this is where a potential employee is looking up. And he says, uh, uh, he or she, whatever it is, he says, uh, database skills, Oracle 10G, Microsoft, okay, programming, uh, uh, JB11, uh, web technologies, ASP.NET, other programming language, C, C Sharp, and all of that. But where is the proof that you know these languages? Since you have written in your resume, how can I, how can I be sure that you know C Sharp? Uh, you might be saying, hey, take my interview at least, or call me up. Do, do you think that really a potential employee has that much of the time to call every individual submitting these kinds of resume and check out whether do they have a programming skills or not? Probably not. And you might have already faced that and nobody calls you up with that. Now, let me show you another resume there. And uh, this kind of resume always gets selected there. And in this case, uh, same uh, happened as well. One of my friend Rahul Sasi, he is uh, doing a, a AI a business uh, there with uh, information security related to the AI. So uh, he hired this person for an intern and look at the resume, it says I'm second year student, blah, blah, and all these things. And he knows about the company and he says that in the last line, says I would love to be a part of your company to learn and contribute to the company improving security using data and possible usage of AI. So he has studied about the company that what kind of job this company is doing uh, and he has then applied. So he says, I write about my working and learning here. Uh, find my profile at LinkedIn uh, there, which is again optional. If he wouldn't have given the LinkedIn profile, then for sure he would have been selected. And here's the important part. Worried about my coding experience? Check them here. And notice again, there is a GitHub link there. So GitHub is again a very good, and I, and I don't say it should be a GitHub, it can be a Bitbucket as well, but GitHub is much more common, okay? So go with the flow. And he says that all of his skills that you can check are already on the GitHub. So if he knows code and he has got a profile there, it's on the GitHub. 
And I hope you get my point that nobody has time to call you up for an interview that whether you know this skill or not, everybody is looking to submit a portfolio. Uh, whenever we submit a portfolio to the client or there is a deal that we have to crack up, we don't send, hey, just choose us because we have this team or I work from there. I've worked so much of the years. I just say, these are my past projects or these are the uh, things that I've done in the past and this is what I can do for you. And that's it. Within three lines, I always crack down my project because I don't do blah, blah stuff. I always take it to my clients like, this is my last 10 projects that I've done with uh, the people. Check them out and if you think we are the right person, give me the job and that's it. Uh, whenever somebody calls me up for kind of a, a big job about uh, uh, maybe some product that I have to work as a team, as a team member, uh, then I always show them uh, my GitHub. I have a couple of GitHub accounts and based on what kind of people are looking up, I just throw my GitHub profile and say, look, if I can fit in there or not. And that's what always lends you up in the job. So all in all, I'm trying to say is work on your profile and uh, there is no shortage of the project that you can do. You are just making an excuse that I don't know what kind of project needs to be done. Hey, create anything, create a shopping cart, create your own uh, website or maybe uh, whatever you are doing with the C, C++, Python, Java, Ruby, Python. There is tons of things that can be made up. You are only making excuses. So let's not be getting harsh there, uh, but that's the truth. Work on your portfolio, work on your profile. I'm pretty sure you will land up in your dream job.